In this video, I will explain the requirements you must meet in order to be eligible to sit for the CPA exam and be licensed as a CPA in Washington State. So, keep watching! Hey future CPAs, this is Ala Abudaya. I'm a licensed CPA in the state of Colorado and I help students pass the CPA exam and become CPAs. If this is your first time here and you're interested in becoming CPAs, start by subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell in order not to miss any of my videos. To qualify to apply to sit for the CPA exam in Washington, there are certain requirements you must meet. Comment below and tell me if you are planning to apply to Washington State Board of Accountancy to sit for the CPA exam. Now, Washington does not have any age or citizenship or residency requirements to sit for the CPA exam. In addition, Washington does not have any social security number requirement to sit for the CPA exam. With that said, Washington is considered a great option for international students who do not have any social security number. If you want other state options, that are suitable for international candidates as well, make sure to watch this video, which I gave other state options as well. Now, with respect to the educational requirements you must meet to sit for the CPA exam in Washington, you must have 150 credit hours from an accredited university or educational institution with a minimum of a bachelor degree with at least 24 semester hours of accounting courses, of which 15 hours must be in upper level courses or advanced courses, such as, for example, um, intermediate accounting, advanced accounting, auditing, taxation, um, governmental accounting, cost accounting, managerial accounting. In addition to those 24 accounting courses, you must have at least 24 semester hours in general business courses, such as information systems, business law, finance, economics, marketing, ethics, organizational behavior, budgeting, and investments. What's special about Washington is that you can sit for the CPA exam in this state before meeting the educational requirements in 180 days. So, a prior to 180 days from meeting the requirements, you can sit for the CPA exam. Does that make sense? If you studied outside the United States, then you must send your academic credentials for evaluation by NASPA International Evaluation Services, which is the only acceptable evaluation service provider for Washington. Comment below and tell me if you meet these educational requirements or not. So, these are the requirements to apply to sit for the CPA exam in Washington. This state also allows you to sit for the CPA exam in any place in the United States and internationally. So, you can sit outside the United States as well. Concerning the licensing requirements, they are different from the CPA sitting requirements. Watch this video to learn the, the difference between sitting for the CPA exam and the requirements to get the CPA, the CPA license. To be licensed in Washington, you must meet the four E requirements, which are E number one, the education. It is basically the same as the educational requirement to sit for the CPA exam, which is having a minimum of 150 credited hours with a bachelor degree. E number two, passing the four parts of the exam. To learn the four parts of the CPA exam, watch this video. And to get tips and tricks on how to pass each of the four parts of the CPA exam, make sure to watch these four videos, which I gave you tips and tricks to pass the far part of the exam, the audit part of the exam, the break part of the exam, and the BEC part of the exam. E number three, which is the ethics exam. So you must pass the AICPA professional ethics exam with a minimum of 90% in order to get the passing score.
And finally comes E number four you must meet in order to be eligible to get the CPA license in Washington state, which is the experience. You must have one year of experience, which means a minimum of 2000 hours through the use of accounting, issuing reports on financial statements, management advisory, financial advisory, tax or consulting skills gained through the practical, gained through the practice of public accounting and or employment in industry, academia, or government. This experience must be obtained within the eight years preceding to the date of applying for licensure. In addition, this experience must be verified by a licensed CPA who holds a valid license to practice public accounting in a U.S. jurisdiction for a minimum of five years prior to the date of verifying the experience. The verifying CPA does not need to be your supervisor or your co-worker. You also have the option to use the services of the NASPA Experience Verification Service to obtain attestation by a U.S. CPA. With that said, make sure you fulfill this experience requirement to be approved for licensing. Comment below and tell me if you meet the 4E requirements for licensing in Washington or not. If you are wondering how to fulfill the 150 hour requirement for the CPA exam sitting and licensing requirement in Washington, make sure to watch this video, which I gave you great options to help you fulfill the 150, to help you fulfill the 150 hour requirement. To learn how to apply for the CPA exam and schedule the exam, get my free CPA exam application cheat sheet from the link in the description below. It is totally free and it gives you the steps you must follow to apply and schedule your CPA exams. So make sure to click the link in the description below to get the free cheat sheet. My next video will be about Kami Ticket CPA requirements. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to get this video. Remember, go after what you want, pass the CPA exam because you can become CPAs and save the world.